Hey guys and welcome back to another awesome Lightworks tutorial. A couple of the previous videos we learned how to add 3D DVE and DVE to create awesome cinematic intros and effective outros. This time we're going to learn how to use special effects in videos. The special effects in this video will be Blur, Obscure Blur and Glow. The Obscure Blur is a great tool to blur people's faces while the blur effect can make it seem like there's fog in the video. If your video seems gloomy and dark, the glow effect is awesome at lighting up dark patches to make your video seem more vibrant and happy. Okay, so let's get into it. Firstly, let's start off by right clicking your video and selecting Add Effects. Next, scroll down to Stylize. From there, choose Glow. In the video, you can see dark patches where the light doesn't shine, as you can see there, such as the sides of the video and the back wall. By the looks of this video, you may expect it to be shot around late afternoon, maybe 5 p.m. Using the glow effect, you can change the time by making dark patches glow to represent that the sun is at its highest peak. To do that, adjust the feather of the glow effect to 100% and leave the values for tolerance, size and strength. You can also change the color if you want but I will just leave it as white for now. The source value which is located there is the intensity of the glow which includes luminous, red, green and blue. As you can see luminous, green, red, green and blue. For the source select red. Now once you have imported your values I will play a before and after of the edited video. As you can see, the video seems to be shot around 12 p.m. because of the high luminosity in the dark patches in the original video, such as the back wall and on people's faces. The shadows on the people walking have also changed to make the viewer think that it is actually 12 p.m. Now, I will show you the effects of the source value. If you would change the source value to luminous, the shadows give us an idea that it might be around 4 p.m. because there's not as much light as red as you can see in the video. Well if you adjust it to green it looks like 2 or 3 p.m. because of the shadows once again. The shadows are much lighter than luminous. The last value is blue but I wouldn't use it because it makes weird shadows along the the back wall as you can see there makes weird shadows and it doesn't look right. Of course you should experiment because not all videos are the same. Next effect we're going to add is the obscure blur effect which blurs people's faces. Before we do that though we must decide which person in the video we're going to blur. Once you have decided who to blur Move to the point in the video where the man disappears out of view or if you have a different video to mine until the video finishes. So I have decided to blur this man's face. That man there. So move to the point where he disappears or the video finishes. So it should be around... There we go. Cut the video there at this point using delete. So press delete and you should now have two sets of video. Now right click on the video bar and under stylize select obscure mosaic. In the effects panel as you can see 
three subheadings should appear mask blend mosaic and simple 2d shape we are only going to worry about the last two subheadings the mosaic and the simple 2d shape under the subheading mosaic change the size value to 3 or adjust it to your needs this value changes the pixels in the blurred section so it is not the size of the blurred section as you can see if I would move that in the center of the video the pixels become larger and smaller after that travel to the subheading simple 2d shape and tick the X and Y clocks to tell Lightworks that we, uh, we need keyframes added now the width and the height is the values that changes the size of the blurred section so don't be confused with the enlargement of the pixels in the previous values change these two to 25 percent or whatever suits your needs so 25 percent the width and the height 25 percent now this part is the tricky part travel to the start of the video and move the blurred section to the position of the man's face using the X and Y coordinates so move to the, the start of the first video and move the mosaic to, the, to fit the man's face so fit it perfectly so you can't see the man's identity Next, move to the end of the cut section and using the X and Y values, move the blurred section to the man's face again. So move to the end of the cut section, which is about there. About there, and move the mosaic again, once again, move it to, the, to fit the man's face, once again. What we did there was we told Lightworks we wanted to wanted the blurred section to start at this position first and then we moved the blurred section to the end position. So if we would play that. As you can see, the mosaic blurs the man's face but if you want to completely blur it, we will move the mosaic across a little bit at the end section. And now if we would play it again. As you can see, it completely covers the man's face and his identity. This tool is great for anything such as that. But we are going to move on to the last effect, which is the simple blur effect. This effect just blurs the entire video. There are many ways you can use this effect in your video. One of those ways is to use it near the end of the video. Instead of having a sudden cut, the blur effect, depending on the speed you put it at, can slowly or quickly finish the video with a blur than a black screen. To use it, simply add it using the of Add Effect button and select Blur. So under Stylize again, Blur. Of course this is on in the second part of the video so don't get confused. As you can see here the effect only has one parameter. Decide if you want the effect to take its time or to quickly finish the video. What I have decided is that I'm going to add the blur effect within two seconds of the video finishing. So I'm going to travel to the 13 seconds in my video using the time counter located in the bottom left of the canvas screen and press enter and why I chose 13 because the duration of my video is 15 seconds and tick the clock under the subheading blur and adjust the value at that point to 0% so at the 2 second mark or whatever s seconds you want put it to zero and travel to the end of the video which is 15 seconds for me so the end of the video let's move 
loop it there and select a hundred so move it to a hundred now you should see keyframes along the t timeline underneath the effects panel as you can see here now I'll play the edited video Using only three video effects, we have made an ordinary video into a professional looking video. But that's all we have time for. If you do enjoy this video, please give us a like and hit that share button. Also, if you would like more content, comment below and ask. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.